Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Big Brother Hometowns Season 10 finale. I am here live in the studio with my co-host, Max Teddy. We are here together. Our other co-host, Gray Price, is um, doesn't live near us. So, um, oh, Kieran, already calling out the weird new countdown. Hey, we changed up the hype music. We did. Um, and, uh, yeah, anyway, that's, that's all not important. We are very excited to be here tonight um, for our Big Brother Hometowns Season 10 live finale. Um, we have our final three down below, Jason, Pietro, and Jake. Um, if you missed it uh, throughout the weekend, uh, Jason won part one of the final HOH. Pietro won part two this afternoon. That means that the two of them, um, Jason and Pietro, were going to face off in just a moment in part three of the final HOH. Whoever wins tonight's final competition gets the final eviction vote of the season. They will decide effectively who they sit next to in the final two. Then we'll bring in our jury. Our uh, jury will, um, oh, Gray's here. Our co-host, Gray. Hey, Gray. Gray, you're muted. I'm muted, sorry. Um, I absolutely, for everyone watching, for everyone wondering, I absolutely got the memo about dressing up like 10 minutes ago, and I play in a wiffle ball league on Sunday nights, and so like I literally, I almost put a tie on. <laughs> but maybe anyway, next, so next season then we will bring in our jury one by one we have 11 jurors and hopefully we'll be able to hear from all of them tonight and they will question our final two then they will submit their votes and we'll reveal a winner tonight so lots on the line it's gonna be a fun night and i'm excited to kick it off uh since you guys have been in the game and since the jury has been formed the jury has filled out a survey i will ask you questions based on what the jury may or may not have said uh, you will have to guess what they said. For example, I'll be like, hey, Max was asked, who's his favorite co-host? Is it A, Josh, or B, Matt, or Gray? And, and I would say B, Gray. And you said B, Gray, of course, naturally. <laughs> and um, yeah, and there's 10 questions because we have 10 jurors. You want to score the most points. If there's a tie, our tiebreaker that we've been keeping in our back pocket is another stay or fold uh, image quiz. Um, just so you guys know ahead of time what that's going to be. And um, without further ado, are you guys ready? I guess. Right, let's do it. Question number one. You'll see them all on the screen. When Sarah was asked what she values most as a juror, she said, A, owning your mistakes, or B, respectable, respectable gameplay. Um, like always, you'll hold your answer up to yourself and reveal it to me. A, owning your mistakes. B, respectable gameplay. Let's see them. Pietro says B. Jason says A. The correct answer is B, respectable gameplay. Pietro's on the board on the first one. Question number two. When Ryan was asked which player was robbed, he said A, Mitchell, B, Sarah. When Ryan was asked which player was robbed, he said A, Mitchell, B, Sarah. You ready, Jason? Or no? Um, okay. I'm ready. Okay. All right, let's see him. Pedro says A. Jason says B. The correct answer is A. Mitchell. Pedro is up 2 nothing with eight questions to go. Question number three. When Jenny was asked who her number one ally was, she said A. Jeff. B. Alex. Jenny was asked who her number one ally was. She said, A, Jeff, B, Alex. <sighs> All right, let's see him. <laughs> it says A. Jason says B. The correct answer is B, Alex. Jason's on the board. It's two to one. Oh, that's news. Alex having another number one. <laughs> <laughs> This is Jenny's number one, not Alex. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, when Rachel was asked her favorite moment in the game, she said A, winning the double eviction, head of household, or B, backdooring Jenny. When Rachel was asked her favorite moment in the game, she said A, winning the double eviction, head of household, or B, backdooring Jenny. Jason's ready, Pietro's ready. All right, let's see him. 
You both said B, backdooring Jenny. You were both incorrect. It was winning the double eviction head of household. Yeah. Stays two to one. When Bradley was asked what his favorite competition was, he said A, the logic puzzle, or B, balloon forever. Or FRVR. Forever. 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 A, logic puzzle, B, balloon forever. What Bradley's favorite competition was. Um, okay. Alrighty, let's see him. Both said be uh, balloon forever. You're both wrong again. It was logic puzzle, the only one. This is number six, this is number six, I believe. Question number six. When Shelby was asked the best part of playing Big Brother Hometowns, she said, A, playing with so many BBH legends, or B, proving I can stand on my own. All right, you both have an answer. Let's see them. Both said B, you're both correct. Scores three to two. When Emma was asked who was the most trustworthy player in the game was, she said A, Bradley, B, Jenny. Oh, I don't like that view. When Emma was asked who was the most trustworthy, trustworthy player in the game, she said A, Bradley, B, Jenny. All right, let's see him. Pedro says B, Jenny. Jason says A, Bradley. Correct answer is B, Jenny. Pietro is up four to two with, I believe, three left. Yep. yep. Three left. When Jeff was asked his biggest regret in the game, he said A, evicting Alex, or B, not using the power veto on Bradley. All right, let's see it. Bill said B, you're both correct. So, Pietro, if you get this la this ninth one correct, you will win the final head of household. If not, we could still be going. When Alex was asked his favorite moment of the game, he said A, ruining Jake's HOH, or B, the halting hex bluff. All right, let's see it. Pedro says A, ruining Jake's HOH. Jason says B, the halting hex bluff. The correct answer is A, Pietro, you have won the final head of household. Congratulations. Good job. Thank you. All righty. Now, here's how this is going to work. We're going to bring Jake in here in a moment. Um, since Jake was um, backstage, he is going to give his pitch first. Wait. Then Jason is going to give his pitch, and then Pietro, it is going to be up to you. Well, Pietro, um, congrats, man. Um, that is awesome. Um, we started this game together. Um, I would love to end it together, um, but you're going to do what's best for you, and I'm going to respect that no matter what. Jason, you're awesome as well, and good luck to everybody. Jason. Pietro, congratulations. Um, I knew that you were going to be killing this comp the second I knew what it was. Um, I've, it's been an honor to play with you. It's been an honor to play with Jake. Uh, Jake has played an almost flawless game, and I'm like, he will absolutely dominate with the flawless game right at the end. Having only been on the block twice in round with in the final four and final three, the rounds that like you're gonna be put on the block anyways if you don't win HOH. I think Pietro, I'd love to go with you, man. All right, Pietro, it's your moment. Okay. Um, this is a very hard decision, especially because I gave the two of you my word that I would take you both to final two. So I'm breaking my promise to one of you tonight. But Jason, me and Jake would know each other for like more than five months. Like he's my best friend. We literally talk every day. I'm sorry for lying to you today, but like there's no way I'm gonna evict him. Like, I'm really sorry. Like you say, you don't think you played a good game, but I think you have the best underdog story out of 
plus three. Like, I'm really sorry, but I have to evict you, Jason. All right. Jason, three. you played an incredible game. Incredible game. We're yeah. very proud of you. I'm very proud of you. We're going to let you have some time to decompress. I'll add you to the jury chat. They're on a Zoom call right now. You can go hang out with them. Oh, I plan. Like, what's that? I plan to. Okay, and then um, we'll start bringing the jury in. All right, see you, Jason. Good game, Jason. Congratulations, Jake and Pietro. You guys did it. You guys did it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but most of them are watching, so let's just do a, a brief opening statement, um, let you have that, and then, um, yeah. So, um, Pietro, why don't you kick us off with your opening statement, and then we'll let the um, people go in. Okay. Um, hey, Jer, so it was a pleasure to play this game with you all. I'm super happy to be sitting here in the party, too. Um, this game has been a pleasure. It was so stressful, so amazing and everything. And I think I deserve you guys though because I was never scared to make any moves. I was always there in the battlefield, really fighting for my way to the final two. I got a vote steal, I played it, I bluffed about it. Um, I survived a double eviction. I flipped a vote to survive a double eviction. I took the best player, in my opinion, of the game, which was Alex out. I like ruined his game because I just compared notes with people who were my enemies, like that Alex made it seem like they were my enemies. I compared notes, I put people against him. And I think that right in the end, until final five, I literally won every single competition I had to to make sure I was sitting here in the final two with Jake, because that has been my plan since day zero. That was my first confessional of this season was, I'm playing this game to go to the final two with Jake, and I'm going to make it. And I'm just so happy that I've been able to make it. I am oh, so <laughs> sorry. OK. OK, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. For okay. sure. I am so sorry, everybody. My, I, my life's a mess. Um, thank you guys uh, for letting me come back and play this game. Um, coming back from season seven, I really wanted to play the same way I played last time, get into a big alliance um, and play hard from the jump. But I realized right away that nobody really viewed me as threatening. Uh, so I was able to adapt to the current perception of me and start throwing competitions to make sure that I wasn't a target and I wasn't going to piss anybody off. When it came to day 13, doing the touchy subjects competition, I was pegged as under the radar, which is exactly what I was doing. So although it was working for me, I knew I had to change that if I wanted to make it farther in the game. Uh, so after Rachel left i won both hoh competitions i competed in after that um and did what i had to do to set myself good set myself up good in the end to make sure that i got it here tonight um i took out bradley which was me playing it safe because i knew i was in the middle of two sides that were eventually going to go to war and i thought that was the best move i could have made for my game to stay in the middle when it came to final six i was able to uh, take a shot at the two biggest players in the game and ultimately get on my target and then I relied on my social connections to get me to the end here tonight. Um, this game has been amazing. I've been a paranoid mess since day one, um, but I'm so happy it's almost over, and I'm happy I got here with Pietro. Love you, man. All righty. We're going to bring in our first juror. We're not going in any particular order. It's just kind of whenever these guys are ready. And uh, the man that you just mentioned, uh, Bradley Consalvo, if you guys didn't know, he's my brother. Um, <laughs> he is going to be first, and he is ready down below. Good luck, guys. We have a lot of jurors to get through, and here's Bradley. Hey, guys. Hey. How are we all doing? Good. Great. Good, good. Um, the first thing I'd like to say is I would like to, in front of everyone here, apologize to Pietro for all the mean, foul things I said to you the night I was <laughs> the, That was not your fault. I was just angry, okay? Um, okay. And Jake wouldn't speak to me. So I would just like to apologize to you for that. Um, Jake, I would love to know why you, your honest reason as to why you wanted to evict me. Uh, my reasoning for going against you at the time is I feel like throughout the game, I mean, me and you were both throwing competitions, but both telling each other we were keeping each other safe. Uh, so when I won, I felt like it was necessary at the time because I was in the middle of what was left of the Bunker Busters and then my chat with Jason and Bradley as well. And I felt like it was the safest move I could have made getting you out and still being um, not nominated going forward. Okay. I would also like to publicly admit that I just suck at competitions. <laughs> I did not throw a single comp. I am solely bad at them. <laughs> that is that is the truth. Pietro, I don't really have much of a question for you because I've just kind of seen how you played, and you played very quiet with me, but we always kept each other safe, just like me and you did, Jake, throughout the whole game. Um, I just feel like you turned on me for no reason, honestly, but... I, I didn't have many questions prepared. I really just wanted to know why Jake felt I was the threat to get out at the time. But 
Yeah, I don't. I didn't have much uh, else to say other than that. Go ahead, Josh. No, I was gonna say if you're good, then keep on watching, see what other information you can get. All right, see you, brother. Bye. Oh, I didn't mean to bring him in so quickly, but here's Matt. <laughs> Hi guys, what's up, y'all? Um, again, not bitter, but I will make you work for my vote because I'm here and I want to make sure my vote counts. But before I ask my question, I did get a new device, and so I'm gonna use it. Hi guys, Hi guys. how are you doing? Are you? Welcome, Welcome everyone. everyone. I hope you love the freaking echo. All right, so my first question is going to be for both of you. Um, Jake, I would love for you to go first. What did you feel was Pietro's biggest move in this game? Pietro's biggest move in the game um, was splitting up me and Alex. Um, Pietro knew from the very beginning me and Alex were close, and I wanted nothing more than us three in the final three. Um, and he knew that I really wasn't going to break on that. So yeah. as we kept going farther in the game, he knew that like Alex was a, a big threat and B still attached to me and I wasn't ready to get, to get rid of him yet. So splitting Alex away from me was definitely his biggest move. Thank, Thank you, Jake. Jake. All, right, All right. So now, Pietro, uh, what did you what, feel what was Jake's Jake? biggest move in this game? I think Jake's biggest move was being able to really fly under the radar and not be targeted by anyone. He was really in everyone's good graces and no one really um like intended to target him at any point you know he was only nominated in final four all right, all right. and this and is this my is second my part of the question this is where you're going to have to work for my vote so i like to call this section for those of you who have followed me on sequester i always ask this for my question i'm going to need y'all to pose for your life so how this is going to work i'm going to say the word pose and you're going to have to hit your best pose ever. I'm not going to accept y'all being really boring and basic. You need to work your poses. You need to work the camera. And you cannot move from your pose until I say pose again. So I could literally, at the most, make you hold a pose for up to 30 seconds. If you move, that will count against you losing my vote. So because I sucked at challenges and y'all were great at challenges, you need to prove yourselves with this. Do you understand? Thumbs up. All right. So here you go. Pose. Pose. Last one, pose. And you can't unpose until I say the, yeah. So stay still until I say you're done. Stay still until I say you are done. I love this. I love being on a jury even though it's voted out. Let's go. And y'all are done. All right, thank you so much for taking the time to have fun with me. Again, it's been a pleasure to play this game with you both. Best of luck for you both. All right, take care. Matt, you stole the show, as you often do. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. He's coming for our jobs. He's coming for our jobs. All right, see you, Matt. All right, next one up. Uh, amazing. Next one up. Oh, wait, did we lose? No, we didn't, Jake. Wait, we lost Jake. Oh, but we have Jake back. Okay. Is Jake going back to his computer? Okay. That was glitching, so. All right. All right, Cowboy Marston is here. Hey, howdy, partners. How y'all doing tonight? Congratulations hey. on making it through the rodeo to the final two. I'm so proud to see my friends up here. All right, uh, Pietro. You know, sorry, I didn't act. I didn't like betray you, like portray you, but like you know, sorry, I didn't tell you the whole truth and anything like that. And Jake, you know, I don't think we ever had any qualms or anything like that. I love, I love you too. Y'all are both great. Um, I just got a couple questions for y'all, you know, down here in my South Texas out here. Okay. Uh, first question is going to be uh, Pietro for both of you, Pietro and Jake. Uh, I'll start with Pietro, though. Pietro, what do you think was your biggest play in this game to put you over Jake to, for the win? Um, I think the biggest move that I made in the game was when I turned to things um, before the, the second double eviction. Alex didn't even win HOH yet. I went to Jeff and I was like, Jeff, 
I know I took a shot at Jenny, you took a shot at Rachel, like we both are supposed to hate each other. But I think we're just doing Alex a favor by targeting each other. Let's just see, like I have an alliance with Alex and Jake and he just, and I, I just gave him a little information. And after that, he gave me so many information about all alliances he had with Alex, how Alex was talking to him when I was like trying to bluff with him some stuff, like how Alex is really not loyal to me. And at that moment, I really turned at Jeff, who was a loyal ally to Alex against him. Um, I already have been working on turning Jake against him. And uh, but after that, Alex became the HOH and I was able to really connect with Jeff and be like, hey, let's just shut up, pretend that, like we never talked shit about Alex so we can both survive. But I ended up being nominated by Alex, which I saw coming because I've already been seeing like he may target it. And I was his target. Like I was put up in the block in a double eviction against Emma and Shelby. Everyone thought it was done, but I had Jake as my number one. And I was able, because of this relationship that I formed with Jeff, he saved me because he knew I was targeting Alex. So the fact that I was able to survive a double eviction and after that, really take my my target out, which was Alex out to me, that was the two of my biggest moves in the game. Like, because I really think I targeted the best players. I was responsible for, I had a big hand in the backdoor of Jenny. I had a big hand in the, in the eviction of Alex and turning people against Alex, which was the, the, the best move I made, I think. Okay, so that sounds pretty good to me, partner. Some good reason. A couple more than one play in there, but I'll take it still. <laughs> All right, Jake. What would you say is your biggest play that puts you over Pietro in this finale here, boy? I think the best thing for me was staying under the radar. Um, Pietro was targeted way before I was. I was able to stay under the radar, not be a threat, and work on my social connections to where when I won at Final Six and I got my target Jeff out, I was able to be safe at five, four, and then three to get to two because of my social connections, and I wasn't the biggest target left in the game. I was able to downplay that and keep um, someone else in the game that was stronger than me so that I was never in danger of going home. Mm, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Um, the, the under the radar thing, you know, I get that uh, completely out here. Okay. Um, you know, not when I'm gallivanting about and people see me, but I get that. It's a great play. Okay. And yours are short and sweet. Pietro, nothing against you, but you're short and sweet, Jake. And I like that too. Um, but anyways, uh, I, I love both of y'all. Like I said earlier, um, you know, y'all get a big yee yee from me down here in Texas. Um, I mean, I guess it's up here from Texas for you, Pietro, but, uh, Y'all have been great players. I love playing with y'all. Literally, no hard feelings. Y'all have any hard feelings with me, you can come see me in Texas. This town ain't big enough for the both of us, three of us, whatever it is, all right? But I enjoy y'all. Good luck to the finals, all right, guys? And I'll catch you, Thank you. on the flip of the side, all right? Thank you. Yee yeah, yee! Yeah. See ya. All right. Iconic. You guys are doing great. All right, we're cruising through this. Um, next up, one of our two former winners, Sarah Flanagan. Hey guys. Hey. hey. Congratulations to you both for being there. Thank um, you. I, everyone, like my concern with the two of you is that to me, y'all were kind of like the same player in my mind. Um, I tried really hard to work with both of you guys and Rachel, um, but you know, it was like talking to a brick wall most of the time. Um, so my question just because like Ryan's question was actually my biggest question. What distinguishes you from each other? Just because to me, you know, I didn't know uh, what else you had or what you had done individually. Um, but since he asked that, my question is going to be, what was your biggest lie in the game? Um, I can start. Um, on day five of the game, I won the Yahtzee HOH and I got a vote steal advantage. And I, tr I really trusted Jake and Rachel, and I told both of them, hey, I have a vote still, but like, that, let's just not tell anyone because I'm only using if one of us is up on a block. But I ended up telling Alex it was not a vote still, but an extra vote because I just wanted to give him this information and see if it would spread around. And accidentally or not, Jeff came to me and was like, oh, I wonder if you have an extra vote. So I, until this day, I was like, I can't trust Alex because Alex literally went around with this information. So I feel like I spent like the entire, until like final 17, until final nine, lying that I had an extra vote and not a vote still, or really just saying that I have no power. So I think like keeping that power to myself was my biggest lie in the game. And also I feel like I really lied to Jason in the final three because I told him it would take him to final two and I didn't, so that's gonna feel bad, but. Okay. Jay um, I, I think my biggest lie um, was how close me and Pietro were. Um, I. In Alex specifically, I told Alex I'm from the very beginning, like he was the only one I knew outside this game and that was going to be it. And I um, kept that a secret from him. And I don't think me and Pietro really told anybody else that we were um, as close as we were. Um, so that I never mentioned that at all. So that was my biggest 
secret, okay. especially with Alex. I didn't tell him anything about that. Okay. I see what you're saying, but I think that I thought y'all were together the whole time, like the two of you. <laughs> so you're so right, too. That big of a right. <laughs> But, okay. But um, good luck to both you guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Sarah. Next up, the third member of the Threesome Alliance, but, Rachel uh, Tier. Hi, boys. <laughs> hey, hey, Rachel. What up? Okay. How are you? I'm good. It was a fun afternoon. <laughs> Sunday fun day. <laughs> okay, so my question for you boys are... <laughs> my roommate here. Look, oh, look, Max. Kaylin, what's up? <laughs> Max's biggest fan right here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my question is for you guys is who were you the most loyal to in the game? We heard about your lies. Sarah just asked you who your biggest lies were, but who were you the most loyal to? The only people that I never lied to were you and Jake. So I was only loyal to the two of you, to be honest. I wasn't loyal to anyone else. Uh, you just told me that you were, or you, you said something about that you were taking Jake to the final. Um. Yeah, you asked that me if I had zero. Her. That wasn't part of our <laughs> play, Pietro. Um, I, okay, let me just help myself a little bit. Um, <laughs> I had you and Jake because I knew both of you from out, like from before the season started. So I had a few of you really, I had a final two with the two of you, but I wanted us three to be the final three. That's why I created a group of the three of us. And like, I never lied in that group and I was 100% honest and loyal to the both of you all the time. But I didn't want anyone to know that I was close to Jake. So I was trying to tell you that I wasn't that close to him because I didn't want anyone seeing that no, we know each other from outside of the game. Makes sense. Jake? I'm so sorry. My loyalties were to the forthcomers, day zero, always. Um, knowing Pietro and Alex outside the game, I did have more loyalties to them. Rachel, I don't think we ever really had any final two deal. Um, but those four were my four. And um, of course, I wanted to rock with Pietro and Alex all the way to the final three. Aww, okay. Well, love you guys both. This has been so much fun. And I wish love you guys both the luck. I don't know, it's going to be hard. You guys have more voice. And Alex, <laughs> until I didn't trust him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rachel. Appreciate Bye. it. Same, Rachel. I feel you. Speaking of someone that never has any issues with technology, any guesses? Yeah. Uh, of course. <laughs> Here he is. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. So um, I have pretty much decided um, who's going to get my vote at this point. Um, but I want to say that the jury compared notes, and both of you did me really dirty. And um, Sarah asked the question about um, you, you, your biggest lie. And that was going to be my question. I wanted you to own your biggest lie in the game, which you answered, but I don't think you actually answered. So I'll ask this instead. Who did you do the dirtiest to in the game? That would be your biggest regret. That could be two questions. Who do you feel like you did dirtiest and what's your biggest regret? Regret. To me, I, I can go first. It doesn't matter. Who I'm sorry, Jack. Can you repeat what I put on here? What is your? Uh, who do you feel like you did the dirtiest in the game? And what is your biggest regret of the game? Uh, for me, um, I feel I feel like I did Alex probably the most dirtiest. Um, I still I cried like a baby the day I put him up on the block. Um, for me, he was someone I'd never wanted to go against but because of everything that was happening and like the no could have been compared. I just felt like it was like getting so much harder to trust him, but I still like it broke my heart doing it. And to this day, it still breaks my heart to ha that I did that. Um, the person I made the dirtiest, I think was Jenny because me and her, we had a really good connection and I had a final two with her and I would have loved to you know, have moved forward with her. And I, I honestly kind of regret taking that shot at her, like just um, telling Rachel like, hey, Rachel, go make it, take a shot at her. Can you guys hear me? Mm -hmm. So I kind of regret like pushing for Jenny to be back door because after seeing like what happened next, I was like, yeah, maybe it wasn't the best timing to make that move. 
but I never made her the dirtiest because I had a friend with her. I wanted to be loyal to her, but I was scared of her other connections. So I just pushed it for her to go. And I don't think it was the right time for her to go. Okay. Now a compliment. Um, Pietro, your jury management skills are, are pretty on par. Jake, you need to talk to people more. I know he did not. <laughs> Did he just say it and bounce? That's amazing if he did. I think he did. <laughs> I know he did not actually leave me. I'm gonna give him a chance in case that wasn't on, on purpose, but if it was, that, that quite the exit. Um because the next person up, the next person up is um what someone called the mortal enemy to said Jeff Delaney. It's time for Emma. Hi pals. Um, big congrats to you both for making it this far. Um, so pretty obvious that I was not the most strategic player in the game. That is fine. Um, I still had a great time playing with you guys. So I'm going to determine my vote as well as, um, your character based on like the best way I know how. Um, so my first question is, what was your favorite part about playing the game with me? Um, I loved the jokes that involved you in this season. I think you were the biggest meme of the season. Every time you showed up in the chat, you didn't show up much in the chat, but when you showed up, it was iconic, especially when you were, you know, you had his little fight with Jeff. I just loved every moment. It just you gave me a lot of good laughs. Thank you, thank you. Off to a great start. I agree. Uh, I always said Queen Emma. Every time I talked about you, I said Queen Emma. You are iconic. Um, your fight with Jeff, and when you were saying something about it, I don't remember what exactly you said, but I was so iconic, and I quoted it for days. And I was like Queen Emma every time I talked about you. And it was <laughs> your videos when you left were also iconic. You sent like three. I was like, okay, girl, we see you. Drinking and living yes, on your life. Sorry for, sorry for keeping the girls out in the double eviction. Thank you. Okay, both off to a great start. My second question, and probably more important than the first, is if you could only listen to one Beyonce song for the rest of your life, which one would it be? You said Beyonce? Yes, indeed. Oh, I'm a fan of a grown woman. Um, okay. Okay, great song. It's one, just one. Around the world. Okay, thank you. I know all I need to know. <laughs> thank you very much, Emma. Jenny has the link. Jenny has the link, but she's also in our house, so she might just come up. That's true. <laughs> um, fun fact, Josh and Jenny are married. Fun fact, I'm married to Jenny. Oh, she's going to do she it is. on the stream yard. All right. Let's see how well it works. It'd be funny if it doesn't work because she, we're literally on the same internet. She just shouted up the stairs. I can't get it to work. Um, oh, hold on. <laughs> hey. Yeah, sorry, apparently you had to allow access to get on this thing. Hey, backstabbers. How are you feeling tonight? Hi, Jenny. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Well, I don't know if I necessarily have questions for you guys. Actually, Pietro, how many final twos did you make this game? Um, with you, Jake, Rachel, and I think that was it. I told Jeff that I would want to go with him to the long run, but I didn't necessarily. Oh, I had one with Jason, too. I made one today with Jason. I told him I would take him to final two. And I told Jeff I would love to go with him to the long run, but I didn't specifically say final two. But yeah, um, that's the main reason why I targeted Alex because I saw he was playing the same game as I was and I was like, no, I'm the only one allowed to make final two of everyone. Ay, ay, ay. And I believe you. <laughs> Fool of me. Um, let's see, Jake. Tell me why playing the woe is me, no one's talking to me game worked for you. I think... Um... I think half the time I said that early on, it honestly wasn't a lie. Me and Matt never talked, me and Jeff, I even told him we never really did until the end game. 
Um, and I felt like playing it up like I was dumb um, and I wasn't as involved as I was worked for me. Um, I didn't think anybody saw me as some strategic mastermind. So if I could play up even just a little bit that I wasn't as smart and into what was happening as I was, that it would get me farther. So then how, so tell me how your game is not just you got dragged to the end, but you actually got yourself to the end. Um, I, yeah, I know how I can look that way because I haven't won a competition since final six. Uh, I think for me, what it was is me laying under the radar. And when I won my HOHs, I made moves necessary for me to make it farther while ne not necessarily wanting to be on the block. Um, like getting Bradley out and then getting Jeff out, both are my targets. So I was successful and I still had my social connections and I wasn't as big of a threat. So people didn't see me as someone who had to go. And I was able to work and knowing I was good with Pietro. And I think I was decent with Alex still at final five that I knew that they would still have my back as well. Gotcha. So do you feel like the moves you made were yours or do you feel like they were Alex's moves that he did through you? Um, I think my final nine HOH was definitely mine. I was getting lots of flack to make a big move that round, but I think for me getting Bradley out was the safest move I could have made. And then at final six, I think getting Jeff out was more for me, whereas getting um, Alex on the block as well was more for Jason, Jeff, Pietro. And I thought I could um, make people happy as well as still hopefully getting my way. Cool. Pietro, I think you're great. Um, I don't really have any questions for you. So actually, what um, do you think is cute about this dog? Everything. His existence. Ooh, it's a girl. Fail. Jake has my vote. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't have anything. Y'all are great. Sad you backstabbed me, but I would have voted you out at some point anyway, so... Bye, Jen. Thank you very much. Next up, Shelby Mills. Hey. Hey, hey Shelby. Shelby. So first off, congrats on making it there. Um, I know y'all already said y'all did y'all's dirtiest to other people, but I felt like y'all kind of did me a little dirty because y'all were like in my top four and apparently I wasn't even on y'all's radar. So that's always reassuring. Um, one question I guess I have for y'all is I knew, Jake, that you and Alex knew each other from Real Money Game. So how do y'all know each other? Because I think Pietro said y'all known each other for over a year. So what was, yeah. how did y'all meet? Um, um, so I think it was in Mare. What month do we play together? We play Trinity in like two, in April. Yeah. And like, we got really close. We were like the ride or die. And we just kind of did the same thing we did in this season. Like no one saw us together and we just, I won the Survivor game and Jake got like player of the season. And after that, we just talked every day. Like he knows everything about my life. I know everything about his life. Like yeah. we just call every day. So and like, he's the reason why I played season nine because he played season seven and he was like, hey, Pietro, there's a really good game on Facebook, go play. And I applied for, for BB hometowns just because Jake told me to. So the fact like I, I am here because of him and we were both in the All-Stars was just like shocking to both of us. No, fair. Um, Hold on. Okay, I, want to, so, I want to confront whatever audience member this is. Is this live? Are they the final two? Yes and yes. So no, we don't know who won. <laughs> <laughs> and if you can always oh, go Lord. to streamyard.com slash Facebook, allow them access, and we can see who you are. All yes, right, continue, is. Shelby. <laughs> okay, the next one I have is what would you say is your biggest mistake? You've talked about regrets, lies, your biggest moves. What's your mistake that you've made that you can learn from for the future? Um, I, I think a, a big mistake that I made was playing my vote still. I mean, kind of playing my vote still at that round because it wasn't necessary. Like, I didn't have to play. Like, we had the numbers to vote Bradley out. And I only played the vote still because Alex told me to. And he wanted to make sure he wanted, like, to, like, Jeff wanted Alex to vote to keep Bradley. And Alex was like, hey, we don't have the numbers. Look what's going to happen. Pietro's going to play a vote steal, and we're not, we will not have the numbers. So I think, like, I played a vote steal, and I was able to just cover Alex from, like, not being 100% with Jeff by my vote steal. So if I haven't played, Alex would really have to, like, sh to, like choose a side at that point in the game, and not, like, when he pu put both of us up on the block, you know? So I think, like, if I didn't play, I just kept it to myself. And also, um, I really don't think it was the right time for me to, to backdoor Jenny when I did it. Because the next round, me and Rachel were up on the block, and I was up on the block that round because I went to Jeff and I told him that I had a halting hex power that would keep me and Rachel safe, and that he had to put M up on the block so I wouldn't use my power. I mean, I just did a lot that round that 
everything blowed up in my face by making me go open a block against Rachel. So I think that was a, a big mistake that I made, going too fast to make a move and being up in the block. I think my biggest mistake in this game was playing so much with my emotions. Um, I have said this in my confessional like numerous of times, playing this game with people you know is so much harder because you can't be your full strategic self because I cared about Pietro and I cared about Alex and I was very vocal about caring about you because we played on season seven together. Um, and I think that kind of held me back in the way from being the full Jake from season seven that I was because uh, I had other people to worry about and I wanted to make sure I was happy with them as well. Okay, I wondered about that because I know Alex and I have both said we know Jake can be so much more strategic than what we saw in this season. Um, yeah. Okay, another question. So since this is all stars and the winner kind of gets to represent all of us as a group, why do you feel you deserve that title to be that representative of all the all stars from this season? I can go first. Um, um, <laughs> I feel as though I should represent this season uh, because coming back from season seven, I wanted to prove that I could just make it that much farther and get to the end and have my shot to win. Um, I definitely changed and made, um, fixed my mistakes from last time. At last time I played really all out and this season I wanted to downplay that and it definitely helped that nobody saw me as threatening. Um, so getting to the end, I was the last person to be nominated and I still don't have a vote against me. Um, I feel like I've represented this season so much and I would have the title. Um. I think I deserve to be the winner because since my first season, I was very underestimated by my cast members of season nine. They all, they were like, if you watch the episode, they were all like, every single episode, they were like, oh, Pitcher doesn't do anything. And like, I made a lot of moves and I made the final four of my season. That, and that's why I came back for All Stars. So coming back, I just really wanted to show, I, I even said, like, I deserve to come back because I already proved, like, all the ideas from my season that I have a brain. Now it's time for me to play with the bass because my season wasn't that, was like kind of easy. I need like the great players to play with. And I think in this season, I wasn't scared to make moves. I won competitions. I took the biggest targets out, which I always said, Jenny and Alex are playing the best games. And I made, I took a shot at both of them. I was very involved in the two of them going home. I feel like I was never scared to, you know, um, try something. Like, just as I said, I tried to use a halting hex to keep myself safe. Like, that ended up being putting me up in a block. But that just proves how hard I was trying to play and how, like, many tactics that I had to keep myself safe and make myself be the winner. Um, and I also would love to be the first international winner, you know, a Brazilian winner. That would be very fun. Okay, final question. This one's a little more lighthearted. What song represents your game and why? Any genre, any song in the world? I got to go through my Pandora. Hold up. I don't know. <laughs> Um, I have a very good song that I was going to put in my confessional. Um, it's called Underdog, the name of the song. Um, let me just see who sings because I don't know, but it's a very good song. Oh, that's okay. I have it in my phone. I can play it for you. <laughs> <laughs> like, I had everything ready for today. If I was getting to her place, I had a song, I had the glasses, I had everything, but hold on. Hold on. I'll just say mine, my, my, I really, I'm drawing a blank on songs right now. I'm going to say uh, Staying Alive. I'm not sure who the hell, who sings it. No. Sorry. Um, and because uh, for me, it was all about just staying alive one more round for me is what it was. Okay. I'm drawing a blank. I'm a whole blank right now. <laughs> okay, I'm ready for my song. Okay. Just when you think I get enough, I start to fight. When you think I've had enough, I start to fight. I'm gonna do the whole thing right tonight. This is for the underdog, underdog. You can count me out when you watch me right. So yeah, I think that was my song. Like that was my season. I was an underdog. I was underestimated, and I'm here in the final too. So yeah, this is for the underdogs. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Best of luck, y'all. Bye, Shelby. Thank you, Thank you Shelby. Next up, the man that no one can stop talking about, Alex Daniels. Hi, guys. Um, first yeah, of all, Jake, Jake, Staying Alive is by the Bee Gees. So there you I'm, go. I'm uncultured. I am so uncultured. <laughs> um, okay, there's a lot here. And I don't have too much to say. So um, also, I put my jacket on because you guys were wearing your jacket. So Josh and Max. Pietro, um, I wasn't going to ask you much. You borderline had my vote going into these questioning. Um, however, you said something a couple minutes ago 
I have to point out where you said that you thought I was playing the same game as you. And you are sadly mistaken because I would never play the game that you played. Additionally, I had one final two, and that was Jake. You already have admitted you had four, five, six, maybe 10, 20 final twos. So this hypocrisy that you have spread about me for days in the house, I can understand the strategy of it. I can understand trying to throw me under the bus. But all I need to know from you, Pietro, is in one word, are you a hypocrite? Yes or no? Obviously. All right, not what I asked, but okay, Jake, I was here in the final two. And had I taken Kaylee, I would have won probably 9-0. But I didn't. I took Gray. Because the game wasn't worth it to me. Was it worth it to you? Um, yes or no? Yes or no? I don't want to hear anything else than that. No. Cool. Thanks, guys. That was Next up. <laughs> Hi, long time no see, guys. Oh, hey, Jason. Right. Well, following all of those legends is hard, I guess. Um, but to really start it off, I'm going to start with Pietro. It was a brilliant idea to take me out. Absolutely brilliant. I give you all the credit for it, and I don't hold any grudges. I really don't. I'm not going to not vote for you because you voted me out. It happens. Sarah voted me out on season six. I still voted for her to win. Jake, you played such an amazing game. You were absolutely under the radar, and no one really had you in their target. And, like, I only had you in my target because there wasn't really anyone left. And, I, you know, you guys lived, and I'm really proud of you guys. Now, this game, uh, as Josh and Max can probably agree, means so, so much to me. So going into your final speech and just like your last plea, I want to hear passion. I, d I don't want any of this just robotic, yeah, I won this comp, I won that, I want that. I want to hear passion. What does this game mean to you? What does getting all the way to the end mean to you? Because you guys have gotten far before, but now it's the moment to tell us, to show us, yell, scream, cry. I don't care what you got to do. Show passion. And I can't wait to vote for one of you guys. I'm told Pietro, I told Jake, I'm my vote is very split. So I'm yet to show some passion. I'll vote for you. That's all. Thank you, Jason. Are we doing it now? Oh, OK. I thought no, you were doing it. Once I'm gone, whenever they okay, decide yeah. to kick me out. <laughs> oh, okay. I say you go go ahead. Uh, we can kick Jason off, and then we can let you allow you to answer this as your final pitch because Jason is our last juror, yeah. and um, that'll be that. So hello. Hey, You're good. Go I am so sorry. Okay, so I'm not sure where I left off, but coming into this game, um, I didn't wouldn't even apply if I didn't want to be here and be here today. I said in my um video that I wanted to make it to the end and prove that I could play this game and win this time. Um, and playing this game with friends was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. And I know I've made a lot of mistakes and I will forever have to make that up to them, especially Alex. Um, but I learned from Sam who I was his number one and he cut me in the end to win. Uh, so I felt like at the time I didn't want to make the choice, but when I was forced to, I had to pick the person who I think was going to give me the best chance to sit here tonight and try to win. Um, I care about this game so much and I'm so happy to be an all-star. Um, I feel like I'm just repeating what I said before, um, but that's about it. Um, I love this game, and I will play it as million, a million more times like Abby until I get my win. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> right, Pedro. Um, so to me, this game is a very big deal, especially because I have to speak English during this, and English is not my first language. I honestly don't know anyone in person that speaks English. Like My only English communication is with you guys. So you are, I'm not only having so much fun, but I'm also improving my English skills in here. Um, so it's been a pleasure to play this game. I loved every second of it. I played two seasons back to back and I would play back to back to back to back because I have so much fun. It is so stressful. I wasn't sleeping well because I was just thinking, dreaming every time about this game, just running scenarios about how can I get myself to final two. But it was a pleasure, especially because I will never get to meet any of you guys. Like I'm from a different country. I speak a different language. I'm from a different culture. So 
it is very different, difficult for me to really to know you guys and make relationships with people that are so different than me. But it is definitely a great experience and I just couldn't take anything away from it. I just loved every second of it. I just love to meet the people. I love the game and I love everything. And if I could be the winner of All Stars, it would mean the world to me because, I mean, I really wanted to win my season. It was just so hard when I got cut at four after a quit happened, a bunch of stuff happened in the same day. And I was like, holy shit, I was so close. Now I'm like here in jury. And just when I, I got to come back, there was like 20 people. I was like, holy shit, I'm never making it far again. And just to be in here, to be with my best friend, Jake, um, to have made like really good connections and really good friendships that I really loved meeting in, during this game. I mean, I'm just so happy. It's even though like if, it, if I win or lose, I'm just very happy with, that I played and that I made this far and that I made as much friends as I did, that, that I met the host, Jake, everyone. All right, boys, you have done all you can do. Now you must wait. We're gonna hype up the hype music. Everyone stay tuned. We're going to count up some votes. They're starting to roll in and we're going to crown a winner. Good luck, guys. Good luck. All right, we're back. Dun, 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 dun. I feel like we're on Monday Night Football. <laughs> ba, ba, ba. I am where I go <laughs> Panthers. I have to bring Gray in here because he's been here all night. Yeah. Gray looks so sad. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's bring let's not let make them wait any longer i know they're very nervous they're ready to see this all i have the easter basket i have the uh we're doing a jeff probe style because i can never figure out how to make the videos work but I'll, you guys will get to see the videos when i put the episode together whatever kieran hooker dim the lights, dim the lights. Here, here we, we go. go is kieran with y'all right now no no it's an American Idol joke, unless you missed that. Oh, I, oh, was, I, was, I, was, I was like, wow, well, Kieran's like, oh, here too. Yeah, on American Idol, Ryan Seacrest used to always go, Kieran, dim the, dim the lights, here we go, when he would reveal the results. But then I watched season, every season, and I don't remember that. Last season, it was really funny of Big Brother, because Kieran was in the finale. And I was like, Kieran, dim I was like, oh. <laughs> anyway, all right, here we go, guys. First vote goes to... Hello, Hello Big brother. brother. My, My vote, vote for the winner, winner of this competition... Of competition is Jake. 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 Just because he posed his ass yeah. off. And yeah, yeah. So, so go Jake. 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 We're gonna have to bring him up. Yeah, it's fine. Second vote goes to... I said I would never vote for you, but luckily, you know I love to lie. So Jake, I vote for you to win Big Brother Hunt Council Stars. Jake. Third vote goes to. Hey Max, hey Josh. Um, I'm here to submit my vote. I vote for Pietro to win Big Brother. Pietro. Fourth vote goes to. Yeah. I vote for Pietro to win Big Brother Hometowns. Pietro. Two to two. Vote number five goes to... I vote for Pietro to win Big Brother All-Stars. Pietro. That's three to two. Next vote goes to... I am going ahead and making this video. I choose. I love both of you boys, obviously. Like, I was going to go to the final with both of y'all um, if I was somewhere. But um, with this being said, I do... Um, vote for Pietro to win. Pietro, four to two. Next vote goes to. I gladly cast my vote for Pietro to win Big Brother Hometowns All-Star Season 8. Pietro, that's five to two. The winner of Big Brother Hometown Season 10 All Stars. I vote for Pietro to win this game. So we can't hear anyone. Congratulations, Pietro. Pietro, you won with a nine to two vote. All right, third time's the charm. So for the winner of Big Brother Hometown Season 10 All Stars, my vote goes to Pietro. Cowboy Marson here, voting for the win of all of All Stars, giving it to Pietro. Good job, buddy. Based on nothing but cold, hard, solid facts, 
it is my moral obligation to vote for Pietro. Oh my God. <laughs> Jake, so you don't have to go wondering who your two votes are. They were, they were Matt and Alex. Um, Pietro got the rest of them. And, um, oh my Pietro, God. You won. Congratulations. Congrats, Pietro. I got my win. <laughs> you got, have you, is this your first win? No, every, every game I play with Jake, I win. I don't know what's the magic. <laughs> That's why he's, he's mad right now. And Pietro, I have to thank you as well because I drafted you on my team, so. I knew you. I, great, I thought you were going to draft me. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't remember what happened. <laughs> but Max, you know, Gray, Gray used to be my favorite host, but now you are. Hey, Max. you know. Am I third? <laughs> no, like. Um, oh, I'm second now. <laughs> I'm kidding. You, you are all my favorites. Um, both of you, congratulations. Uh, final two, that's a big deal in this season. This season was a lot of fun. Uh, Pierre, congratulations on your win. I'm sure we'll talk more about it. There is a Zoom call happening uh, already. We can all hop over there, have some fun with it. Yeah, you. let me join that. And um, you, uh, I'm going to kick you guys out, let you guys go, hang out over there. Congratulations, Pierre, for the winner of All Stars. Thank awesome. you. Uh, we're so happy. Unfortunately, though, I have to tell you this. Uh, you're our second international winner. Way back in season four, Max Parsons won. But uh, you're fir our first South American. First South, South American. Oh, that's amazing. That's what I wanted. There you go. <laughs> that's also great. So very proud of your game. And um, see you guys later. I'm going to kick them out, say Good goodbye job, to the viewing party. Um, and that is our season, ladies and gentlemen. That's a season. Um, a great season. Thank you. A great season, a lot of fun. Um, I'm excited for everyone to get to get in the viewing party, see all the episodes, and watch me roast them because that's just what we do. Um, if you're still watching, the poll for America's favorite player will be in the viewing party tonight. So you can yes. start voting on that. The poll will close tomorrow at midnight. Yeah, sure. um, so, um, yeah, be, be on the lookout for that so that you can uh, give some love to your favorite player. And I know some people have already started asking about season 11, which is very exciting. Um, uh, first of all, it will happen. Um, second of all, not right away. Um, I am probably aiming for a late September start of Big Brother Hometown season 11 um, for some reasons. One, mainly because I need to take a break. Um, but yeah, season 11 will be coming. Max may not be joining us. I'm, I'm in grad school. I'm trying to graduate in December. Y'all understand. I'm going to need Max to at least like do the voting chart. Oh, I, I was going to do that. Okay, anyway. right. <laughs> I, I can't pass that off. That saved your butt. <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming Gray is going to be with us. I don't know that for sure. But yeah, I'll be handling uh, community yeah. relations again. Yeah. Um, and so those of you watching, um, I haven't put anything out officially yet, um, but I am going to be looking for some new hosts, uh, not just because we're losing Max, but because we want to expand our hosting team because we have a lot of jobs. We've created a, 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 an empire here, and there's a lot of things that need to get done. And so if you're interested in – if maybe you've played already and you're like, I want to still be a part of Big Brother Hometowns, but I don't really want to play again because it's stressful, um, hit me up. I, I'll make some more maybe formal applications of things later. Um, and then Season 11 applications will come probably within the next few weeks at least to get that ball rolling. And uh, congratulations to Pietro. I know he's probably – oh, he's still under – he's still – He's still below. Let's get Pietro on here. Our winner, all alone. Wow. <laughs> Pietro. Uh, show him some love in the comments. Yes. I um, will say, I will say, Pietro may not be our first ever international winner, but he is our first ever winner who does not speak English as his native language. Yes. Which is huge. That is and huge. Pietro, right. talked about that a little bit tonight. Um, that is huge because, like, there's so much of, like, culture associated with like lying and like playing a yeah, game especially like this season because we weren't called so much like yeah my season was easier to lie this season was hard especially for me it was hard yeah i can't imagine that it's easy and like just like lang a language barrier can also be a cultural barrier and there's like things that like are inherently like just different and so to navigate that is is really impressive so congratulations and coming maybe summer 2021 or sometime in the future, you will get to play in our winners hopefully at winners at war with Max and Gray and you and Kieran and Jenny and Sarah. Oh, what an iconic season that we are growing slowly. So oh my God, I'm excited for this. Oh. Um, Pietro, we're super excited for you. We're going to put your name on that wall in the. On, in yeah, the, that's uh, what I wanted. I was seeing Kieran's name. I was like, my name has to be near her name. It's going to be. It's going to be. 
and 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 you and you took a lot from Kieran. You dominated in a lot of competitions down the street. Yeah, I told I like I told Kieran like my strategy is to play like you. Like yeah. I, you're my role model. <laughs> yeah, y'all really are like the the Janelle and Kaser like of the of BBH right now. Like y'all were allies. Yeah. Y'all are both dominant in comps. Y'all are both dominant socially. Yeah, I, mean, I I used to be a flop in comps, but this season I did it. <laughs> it took a long time, but I started doing good in comps. <laughs> yeah, so much for Pietro's one allowed comp win per season. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. way more than that. Uh, this is Connor. This is Shelby's husband, who's also a winner. Um, and uh, welcome to the winner's circle. We may have to make a winner's shot eventually. Ten seasons in. Oh, yeah. I think it's time for the yeah. winner's Yeah, let's do that. Uh, let, let the pre-gaming begin. <laughs> yeah, let, let the pre-game start. <laughs> oh, I'm man. already in game mode. <laughs> <laughs> well, you need to take a break from game mode. Uh, well, be uh, maybe we'll uh, do a viewing party thing in the next couple of days where we'll just talk about everything from your perspective. Hopefully, um, things are moving. Yeah, um, you know, the day of the Joe Party game, I was watching my class. I was like, I cannot waste my time studying this. I have to go memorize the days in the competitions. I left my class. <laughs> I was right. like, I'm going to this. this game needs to end. Was there, I, I have one question I'm curious about. Was there any part of you that was going to take Jason had you when you won tonight? No, I, I didn't mean, think so. <laughs> when, it was, when it was in the call of him, I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna feel so bad if I win and like if I take him out. But cause I was expecting me to lose this final competition, I didn't expect to win, so yeah. I just wanted to make sure he was taking me. But I don't think he was there. Was Honestly, any, I from what I have gathered from people that he has talked to, I think he was gonna take you. Um, and that vote would have been very close, that would have been very close, I think. So, but we can get into all that later. Let's go over to the yeah, let's go there. Um, I need to jump in Yes, you can go ahead up over there. I'm going to say goodbye to the viewing party. Goodbye to the viewing party. Thank you for hanging with us for another great season. We're really excited for um, what's to come for Big Brother Hometowns. Hopefully, okay, I want to promise a couple of things. We have some big things to reveal to you yes. in the viewing party in the next few weeks, hopefully. Hopefully, I'm going to get on my horse and get some stuff done. Um, and um, I, another thing I really want to do is some other shows, like some like top 10 shows, some like yeah. – Talk about some of our favorite like intro videos, favorite players, favorite all those things. Um, I think there's a lot that we can cover in the off season. So, Gray, Max, anything else to say? I think this is the end of an era. It really is. That kind of wraps up our first ten seasons nicely in a bow, and we're gonna charge ahead into a brand new era of BBH. I'm so excited to see where where this thing goes. I'll be watching from, from the viewing party because your boy's burned out, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I. It's going to be so cool. Yeah. I can't wait. Great. Yeah, it really does feel like the end of like end of a season like we're pushing straight on into a new um a new season, a new era with like a lot of content. Um we're learning something new every season. Josh is getting better and better at this. This is already like the best org out there, but like Josh just keeps making it better and better. And so thank you guys in the viewing party um for just being consistent and for being there for Josh. Yeah, hey, and it's not just me. This is a team effort. Uh, I'm at the helm, but um, if you are going to join, potentially join the production team, you get a voice. You get to we, – we discuss things all the time. Uh, we talk Josh out of bad ideas all, all the, time. the time. I talk them out of bad ideas all the time, <laughs> truthfully. So, um, all right, we're rambling on. I want to hop over to the Zoom as well and hang out with everybody. So good night, everyone. Thank you for uh, hanging out with us tonight and for another great season of Big Brother Hometowns. Thank you, Mitchell. We, we love, love you, Mitchell. Love. We love the love. Bye. Good night, everyone.